Hey Lawn Care Nation, I wanted to do a quick uh, long-term review of this Spiker Spreader Ergo Pro uh, Broadcast Spreader. Uh, I've had this spreader now for uh, just over a year uh, and as you can see uh, it's still in uh, excellent condition. It's held up uh, really really well uh, using it uh, on all of my commercial lawn care properties over the past year. Um, you know, it's outlasted now uh, the previous two uh, spreaders that I use, the Shindawa RS41 and the Echo RB60 spreader uh, that was uh, didn't last even the first season uh, using that one commercially. This spiker here, uh, you know, with over a year's uh, use uh, using this uh, commercially has held up uh, fantastically. Uh, when I started my lawn care business uh, 17 years ago, my first spreader was a spiker and it lasted uh, 10 years uh, in my lawn care business and uh, until it needed to be replaced. So uh, I've got uh, really high hopes uh, for this uh, particular uh, spreader. Uh, they've got uh, a fantastic track record uh, in my mind uh, in terms of my own personal experience uh, using this brand. Uh, and it's been uh, a really nice spreader. So let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, uh, all the way around, it's held up really, really good. Uh, all of the sort of linkage uh, for opening and closing the spreader has uh, all held up really good. Uh, no jams or anything like that. Uh, all of the stainless steel hardware has been fantastic. It's all held up really good. Uh, the only real sort of um, thing I would say in terms of uh, you know needing some improvement uh, would be sort of this deep hopper here. You can see how much higher uh, the agitator is. There's a, a good uh, inch and a half, two inches above uh, the bottom of uh, the uh, hopper there. And uh, if you're using any materials like say uh, Dolaprill Lime or a moss control product that's really powdery, it can uh, start to jam up uh, just at the bottom when you get down to uh, low levels and you gotta sort of shake the spreader or bounce it uh, to move those uh, sort of uh, uh, little clogged areas because uh, the agitator is so much higher. If you're using it just with regular, uh, you know, prilled type uh, fertilizers, uh, then it absolutely works with no issues. It doesn't clog or anything like that. You don't have to bounce it. It gets all of it uh, right down. You can see how uh, the walls are all sort of tapered down uh, to this point. So it has no issue with the flow of all the material. You can see all, again, how everything is uh, stainless steel in terms of any metal hardware on it. So it holds up uh, really, really good. Uh, this is the 50-pound the uh, version of the spreader. It's got the AccuWay system there uh, that allows you to adjust, um, you know, if it's spreading too much on one side or too much on the other, you can actually fine tune it to make sure that your uh, spread is nice and even uh, right down the center of the spreader. And like I say, it's been a, a very uh, uh, good spreader. Uh, the other uh, sort of uh, only other downside uh, that I've uh, come across with this particular spreader is that it is quite heavy, um, but you know it's built uh, to last, uh, you know, for commercial use. So uh, you know that is a little bit of a downside. You can see how it's you know full uh, uh, welded frame there. It's got gussets uh, to increase that rigidity and make it uh, really strong. Uh, but if you're, uh, you know, having to lift it in and out of the back of uh, the truck all day, uh, then it becomes uh, a little bit of an issue. It becomes a bit tiring to have to lift it in and out, uh, just being uh, so well built and uh, so heavy. But if you've got any sort of other means, if you're just rolling it up into a trailer or something like that, uh, then, uh, you know, that, of course, wouldn't be an issue. Um, this spreader, I could see, uh, you know, being a great addition to a lawn care business, especially if you've got multiple employees using it uh, that don't always care about... Uh, you know, uh, taking care of uh, your equipment in your business. Uh, so in that case, uh, something like this uh, would be a fantastic addition. Some of my favorite features about this uh, particular spreader are the large uh, pneumatic tires, makes going over uh, uneven surfaces uh, really easy. Of course, uh, all of the stainless steel hardware, especially how it uses a, a stainless steel rod here uh, to control uh, the opening and closing of the chute there uh, versus uh, a lot of the cheaper uh, models on the market to uh, use cables and stuff uh, that uh, will easily break. Uh, the adjustment lever 
here is very very simple uh, to set the adjustment of how uh, wide uh, that um, opening uh, for the prills uh, falling out uh, will be and uh, just uh, you know how solid the unit is it doesn't uh, uh, you know flex or shake or anything uh, and you know being uh, in the back of the truck uh, bouncing around and stuff uh, there's been no issues uh, with the unit uh, in terms of any sort of uh, bolts coming loose uh, or uh, you know anything uh, breaking or cracking on it uh, so it's a uh, you know really heavy duty built uh, so that's a plus uh, as well uh, it also comes with a, a cover uh, that you can use if you're uh, going to be uh, you know using this on uh, sort of wetter days uh, to protect uh, your uh, fertilizers and stuff from getting wet uh, it's got a clear sort of a window at the top so you can see uh, inside um, the only um, sort of issue it is a bit of a uh, you know tough to get the cover on and off at times but uh, overall um, you know I don't use it unless uh, I'm using it uh, sort of uh, in those kind of wet conditions or if it's a really windy day with uh, something really dusty like um, moss control or uh, dolopril lime or something uh, where you're going to get uh, big dust clouds and stuff uh, the cover will help uh, minimize some of that so overall uh, the spreader is pretty pricey uh, but it, it does offer I think enough value there uh, especially in terms of construction you know that this is something that you can buy once uh, and have uh, for many many years in your lawn care business and I'm basing that based on uh, my previous experience uh, with spiker spreaders uh, and the uh, previous one that I owned uh, so uh, knowing that I had that one for 10 years uh, you know really does uh, you know uh, give you the value uh, for what you're uh, paying for it is like they say you get what you pay for uh, so uh, if you want something uh, that you can rely on uh, that you don't have to worry about uh, you know failing in the middle of an application and having excess uh, fertilizer spilling all over a customer lawn or not being able to turn it off at the end of a run or you know jamming up or stuff like that uh, then you know buying a true uh, you know commercial grade spreader like this really is a, a good investment uh, versus uh, buying cheaper ones like I've tried uh, uh, the last couple of years uh, with that Shindawa and uh, that echo model and uh, constantly having to replace them and having the issues of uh, it failing uh, in the middle of jobs and then having to deal with the uh, aftermath of uh, that. So there you have it Lawn Care Nation that is my quick review of the uh, Spiker Spreader Ergo Pro uh, Spreader. If you like this video make sure you hit that like button. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of uh, the uh, Spiker Spreader lineup of uh, broadcast spreaders.